It's a J, boy, J with Organic Money. Uh, it was my first video this year, man. You know, it's been a lot, so we gotta catch up and get right to it. We're gonna talk about this cryptocurrency and what's going on in the market. So today is July um, 29th, right? We're at the end of summer, you know, we're approaching August and we're starting to see crypto make a turn back, right? But in the beginning, the first five months of the year was insane. Bitcoin hit a record high of 64,800, right? That was huge. When the previously came from a record high of $20,000. They were skeptical of saying, you know, Bitcoin wouldn't get past that. But as we've seen it rising and rising and rising uh, in the late months of the year in 2019, we've seen it just explode during the pandemic uh, for the year uh, 2021, right? So if you would have put $1,000 into Bitcoin five years ago, you would have had over $60,000 today. $60,000, right? Because it's like like one point one and a half Bitcoins uh, back at that price around $600 something dollars, right? So I'm, I'm showing you guys this information so that you guys can still invest, right? People are throwing you left when you should be going right. All right, they're doing it on purpose. So don't watch the, Don't watch what they say. Watch their moves. Right. So for example, like I said, Bitcoin went up uh, to sixty thousand. Went past double its amount over twenty thousand dollars. Right, sixty four thousand eight hundred. Ethereum went up over four hundred percent. You had Dogecoin went up three percent in one week. If you would have bought Dogecoin on January first of two of, of this year two thousand twenty one and sold it at its peak price at seventy four seventy four cents. You would have made over twelve thousand percent off your money. That's insane. That is insane. So I'm telling you guys this because this is what's going on. It's a big wealth transfer going on, right? The U.S. dollar is dying. Inflation, uh, inflation is taking over. We're seeing it in the food prices, the gas prices. You know, it's getting ridiculous on the amount of prices that we're paying for food and clothing, and life essentials. And I'm telling you guys, it's only going to get worse because our debt is continuing to grow, right? The Federal Reserve Bank is continuing right now printing out $125 billion a month, okay? $125 billion a month. Not to mention, they printed out $4 trillion last year uh, during the pandemic in 2021. So what do you think they're gonna do this year? All right, so this debt is just keep climbing up, keep climbing up and everything. And a lot of people think uh, with interest rates being low, that it's a reason for us to buy homes. It's really not. You have over two, 2 million homeowners who haven't paid six months of their mortgages, right? So we have that mandate still in place that's supposed to expire next month. And how are that paying out? What do you guys think is going to happen when they remove those restrictions? You have renters that haven't paid month rent in over uh, six months to a year. And you have uh, owners of homes that haven't paid their, their mortgage in over a year. So what's going to happen to the housing market when all these uh, payments uh, have to be made? You think these people don't have the money to make it? And now with a new variant strain coming in, you know, they, they're telling people that, you know, they're going to have to still wear masks even though they're vaccinated. You know, and that's a whole nother story in itself. But I'm telling you guys about what's going on so that we can stay in tune. So even when we was getting this uh, stimulus money, I was telling people, man, take advantage of this money, you know, use it wisely and invest in it, right? And look, if you would have invested in $100 in the beginning in Dogecoin, you would have held over 1,200% off your money, right? So this is life-changing money we're talking about here. So imagine what's going to happen in the next five to 10 years, right? I told you, if you bought Bitcoin five years ago, you have over $60,000 worth of Bitcoin right now, right? That's that's good money for investing, right? For a five-year plan. So I'm just telling you guys this because, you know, a lot of people are getting scared and stuff like that as far as what's going on in the market, you know, seeing it reach its peak. And then, you know, this guy named Elon Musk, he goes on a show called SNL and it changes everything, right? Dogecoin was at 74% ready to go hit a dollar. Everybody was rallying for Dogecoin to hit a dollar. Elon Musk goes on SNL, makes a joke out of Dogecoin. And from, I think that was uh, May 5th, May 8th. So that next week, I want to say May 8th, Saturday, May 8th. So that next week, by May 12th, the whole market had crashed. And it was due off the influence of Elon Musk, right? So this is what caused that whole market to go down. And then Bitcoin hit its trough too before, you know, the altcoins. Because even though Bitcoin was going down, I think Bitcoin went down a little earlier at the end of April, uh, mid-April. But the alt altcoins, which is the... The coin outside of bitcoins anything outside of bitcoin is an altcoin alternative coin right so they were going crazy even ethereum ethereum is, is going to be a huge coin i believe you know i love ethereum the technology it uses it's basically uh deal with smart contracts basically look at it like the freaking um what do you call it the app store right imagine having an app store with cryptocurrency that's basically what ethereum does and it also has the d5 which stands for decentralized financial institution and it has the NFT technology stands for non-fungible token technology, right? Now, these are two of the biggest technologies that Ethereum has on its platform, 
right? And these are going to be game changers. So, so with the NFTs, imagine, imagine uh, having a, a token, right? Or, or selling some art on the internet and it's a one of one, right? So that right there is able to give uh, artists and other people money off of basically uh, making some type of coin that will still pay them even after they've already sold it to one person and that other person selling it to somebody else, right? So it keeps it in their log to where they can still get royalties off something they sold uh, before. The, uh, after they sell it to one person, they still carry on to the next person, right? So that's what I love about NFTs. Then you have DeFi, right? Imagine, uh, stands for Decentralized Finance Institution. Imagine uh, borrowing money from a, from a bank or instead of going to a bank. Imagine doing that off of cryptocurrency. Or imagine uh, buying some stock without going to TD Ameritrade or without going to a brokerage uh, to buy your stock. So these things are game changers, man. I'm trying to tell you guys, this is going to be the future of money. You know, I'm big as far as organic money. I still have my same foundation where I think it's physical gold and silver at the bottom of the basement of that foundation. And I think the next level is cryptocurrency, right? Even though the market has went down, we're seeing a reviving coming in now with cryptocurrency, right? And the reason that's coming, well, you know, another reason why the cryptocurrency had crashed too was because the China crackdown had happened. The United States said he was cracking down as well. And then, you know, you got Elon Musk, you know, saying he's uh, taking Bitcoin away from purchases on cars and things of that nature, right? So all this stuff had played a part into it. But you still had financial institutions, big banks, corporations, MasterCard, PayPal, uh, uh, JP Morgan, allowing their clients, not just the big clients, but other clients to purchase cryptocurrency through their uh, banking system. So these things are huge. This is, that's why I'm saying you gotta watch their moves. You know, because sometimes these reporters and stuff can get it wrong and it can discourage you about, you know, you have Bitcoins and it's in the toilet, what's that, and third. But then it, if you look at it, Bitcoin still hasn't went down to 20,000. It hit 28, 29,000 and popped right back up, right? But its, it's last record highs was at 20,000 and it still hasn't went back down to 20,000. So that's a great sign. What it does is making it, it's telling you that it's establishing a higher low, which is great. Um, which is uh, it's good to know because it's, it's, it's creating a high low, which is basically saying it's going up in value, right? It's creating a new trough and peak. So as we see this next uh, surge come in, all right, and this happened because now Elon Musk is, he's, he, I don't know, this guy is the worst. Elon Musk is terrible. I'm glad Anonymous is on this high pot and is talking about threatening him and uh, hacking this stuff because this guy, he's playing with a lot of people um, wealth that he could have easily had already if it wasn't for him making a, a joke out of uh, Dogecoin. You know what I mean? Like, you already have with us. Let us investors get ours. But, you know, as I digress. Um, now Elon Musk is back uh, on the saddle. He went to a big conference this week, him and uh, Jack Dorsey of Twitter, and they spoke highly about crypto. And uh, a lot of miners are they're getting shut down in China. They are relocating over here in the United States. And what that's causing them to do is have a better carbon footprint because they're not using those old computers they were using. Right. So that made them get new computers and they also relocate to the United States. A lot of them say Texas because Texas has cheap, Texas has cheap uh, technology, um, which is going to be great for miners because they use a lot of technology. Right. So that's another good thing for us. But another flip on the flip side of the United States have a lot of miners. So now the United States get on some type of t a Chinatown, which I think probably eventually will happen when they want to push their digital coin, they can just do what China said they're going to do and shut down all miners. And then what happened then? The crypto market uh, declined again because miners won't have a place to mine, right? So we got to keep this type of stuff in mind. But ultimately, I still think it's a go. I don't think the central banks, which is the, uh, the bankers bank, I don't think they're in tune right now enough to catch uh, Bitcoin and, and uh, Ethereum right now and all these other uh, big alternative coins because they're, they're behind the eight ball. They started too late. Um, they're going to try to eventually, I know, uh, these central banks and these governments are going to come up with their own coin, right? They're going to do it. So we just have to watch their moves in the meantime. But while they're waiting to build their own digital currency, I think we should stick with these. And I think it would be a great investment. Like I said, this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. I'm just trying to get you guys in the know because what we, what we're ha what's happening right now is we're getting robbed of our wealth. And the way we sustain our wealth is through assets. They said the biggest, we had one of the biggest, um, increases in wealth for the top 1% this year in the United States of America. And the, the reason that came about was, was due to the pandemic and how they grew in assets. 
the rich assets had grew. The homeowners, the, 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 the land they own, the stuff in value, it grew in value, right? And we can do the same thing. We have to be able to purchase things that's undervalued, like physical gold and silver, these new uh, cryptocurrencies that are going to be game changers, right? You got to do research. There's a lot of cryptocurrencies out there, a lot of altcoins out there that you can research and, and then look into. And uh, pick which one you like the most, man. Whatever you think is futuristic to you and that you can afford to uh, put some in, it don't take much. Like I said, you could took $200 in January 1st and bought Dogecoin and you could have made over $25,000. $25, you know what I mean? 12,000 times your money in less than five months, right? So this is, I just want to give y'all an update, man, as to what's going on. Um, we come up with more videos soon. Let's talk in the mentions. Let me hear y'all thoughts, y'all opinions, y'all questions, and uh, we'll keep it going, man. All right, we're getting money. Peace.